guys, what's going on? It's your girl here. Welcome back to a brand new video. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the real reason why we had to move house. Before we get into that reason, I just want to tell you all, please ignore the background. If you don't know already, or if you're watching this video and you have no idea what it's talking about, I have just moved houses and everything is everywhere. I have no bed at the minute. There's so much going on at the moment that I need to still record, so you're going to have to bear with everything behind me. Guys, getting into this top of, the, of this video, today we are going to be speaking about the real reason why I had to move and why we as a family had no choice but to move. I know the person who this video is on about probably probably will never ever ever see this video. I am not going to mention any names though, I am not going to mention anything that is going to pinpoint these people. I've lived in that house for 20 years, I moved in that house when I was 3 years old, so I, I've lived in the house growing up, like I walk, learned to walk in that house, I learned to talk in that house, I party trained in that house, you know, that house was the house, well maybe, no, maybe not, but I don't know guys, that house was the house that I have the only memory of, that house was my childhood home. The reason why we had to move was because there was a neighbor who caused our life pure hell. Now in the beginning of our moving into that house when I was three years old she was absolutely amazing and my, my whole life growing up she was absolutely amazing. The pair of them there's a couple who live there and you know they're an oldish couple they're not young so you know that they they, they they were very very gentle kind people like if i needed something i knew that i could go to them um there was times where i was at the front playing and the, the guy would come out and bite like give me chalk um you know they, they were very very welcoming the who family was very welcoming and i'm not gonna lie like they honest to god like they was amazing like we when i i think i was six on my sixth birthday um they had a photo of me and on my 19th no, my 18th birthday, um, they gave that photo back to me. And I've never seen that photo before, but they gave it back to me saying happy birthday and everything. And, you know, congratulations on hitting 18 and everything. So, you know, I'm, I'm saying that these people are, were good people. They were amazing people. It wasn't until about one year ago that everything got a little bit crazy. So about a year ago, no, it might have about a year and a half ago, something like that, it got a little bit crazy. So my mum went away on one night, guys, in February, and everything was nice and calm. Me and my boyfriend stayed at home. We had a nice date night. You know, there was no one home. It was just us two. So we had a really nice night, guys. And we went to bed. We, we, we went to bed. It was about three o'clock in the morning and that's all I heard okay that's all I heard on on waking up at three o'clock in the morning was this banging like really bad banging up against the door and me being me I thought it was going to be the police I looked out the window I couldn't see anyone so I was a little bit sketched out I was a little bit worried I have anxiety so in that situation my anxiety was going my adrenaline was going I didn't know what to do but I do wish I filmed it I wish I really wish I filmed it on that night guys I went down to the door and and I said, you know, who who is it before I even opened the door? Because I didn't want to like, you know, I didn't want to open my door to someone who's going to come in and kill me. And before anyone asked why didn't why, why didn't I wake my boyfriend up? He had to wake up at six o'clock in the morning to go to work. Okay, at this point it was three o'clock in the morning. Yes. I should have woke him up for protection, but I'm an individual. I can protect myself in a situation where it's my home and a situation where, you know, I needed to answer that door really quick because the dogs are barking their thing. I, I run downstairs and asked who it was and it she said it was my neighbor. Now, I don't, let's call my neighbor Margaret, okay? That's an old person's name, Margaret. I opened the door to Margaret and she started screaming at me and I mean like it wasn't just a little uh, you know shouting match she was screaming at me guys okay you now picture this I was alone base I was I was in that house it was three o'clock in the morning I've just woken up from being asleep so I was you know I was going my mind was going crazy my eyes were blurring I, I had anxiety my adrenaline was pumping everything inside me was like what the hell is going on and I couldn't get her to calm down whatsoever. I tried my best. I probably should have phoned the police at this point before it got out of hand. But I, it was a really quick reaction to answer that door and I didn't think, you know, I didn't want to phone the police and the old lady who lived next door to me. I, I'm, I'm there at the door and she's screaming at me and, you know, I'm trying to get her to be quiet because there's kids next door. There was a newborn baby at that point next door. And, you know, who wants to be trying to go to, who wants to be woken up by this screaming old lady at three o'clock in the morning? You know, that this, I didn't want to put 
my position. I didn't want to put anyone else in my position. So I was like, you know, be, be quiet, be quiet, you know, chill. Why are you shouting? What, what is going on? What have I done wrong? And she is full on like screaming at me at this point, guys. She's calling me a lazy lie about because I didn't answer the door. Apparently she's been knocking the door for about two hours at this point. Um, but no, it, it's not true because I would have woken up. I'm a really light sleeper and definitely when it's just me in the house. So when my mum goes away and I'm in, I'm in protection of the house, you know, my ears are open, ready for someone to knock that door or someone to walk in for that door. So when she, you know, she was calling me a lazy lay about guys, she was calling me a down and out. She was saying that I'm, I'm useless, that I shouldn't be left alone, that all I do is drug, drugs and drink. Uh, I have partied, you know, apparently I was this animal, okay? I was an animal. I, I, I put hands up, guys. Apparently I was an animal. Not true at all. There she is, screaming away, and screaming at the door, guys. I'm just here, just like, you know, please, please, please calm down. Like, we can speak. <laughs> what is going on? So she wouldn't shut up, guys. She just wouldn't shut up. So I said, you know what? Margaret, I nearly said her name there. I said, you know what, Margaret? Go to bed. It is three o'clock in the morning. We'll speak about this in the morning. And, you know, just go to, go away. Go away. Um, at this point, I discovered why she was locking the door. Because apparently the dogs have been barking for, like, five hours, okay? We'll get into that one in a moment. But, yeah, she, the dogs are barking for five hours, according to Margaret. So I, I closed the door. I closed the door. I was like, you know, I'm not putting up with this. Go go away. I'm not shouting. I'm not having a shouting match with an old woman at three o'clock in the morning. I am not prepared for this. Please go away. I was scared a little. I know. I was I was ready for her to attack me. So I closed the door. And th this is the point where I really, really, really should have phoned the police. So I wish I phoned the police because she said it booting. And I mean, it wasn't just a little kick, guys. It was a boot, constant boot against my door. And you know, I opened the door. And I was like, Margaret, go away, otherwise I'm going to phone the police. And she was screaming and screaming and screaming. So I closed the door and I locked the door and thankfully she went away. Um, I did not at all, at all cause any violence towards her. I tried to keep it calm. I tried to keep it civil. You know, I, I've lived on the street for 20 years. I've, I've grown up in the street. I didn't want to make enemies. And, you know, I had a new, there was a newborn baby next door. So at this point I was like, you know, you really need to chill out. There's, you don't want to go waking up family you know there, there's other old people on the street we were a quiet we was a quiet street after all this guys the net I went back to bed and I woke up the next morning and I phoned my mom and I was like you know she's come knocking on the door at three o'clock in the morning I don't know what's going on you know you have to come home to try and sort this out so she was on her way home guys and then I remember then I said to my boyfriend I was like you know Apparently the dogs are barking for like four three hours straight did you hear anything and he didn't hear nothing he didn't hear nothing at all so I, I went on, I just jumped on the laptop because it was still early in the morning this time, it was about, you know, nine o'clock in the morning. Um, he didn't end up going to work because of what happened, because I told him, I woke him up when I went upstairs and told him and everything. So I went downstairs, I sat on the laptop and I realised that I had been recording all night. On my laptop, I've been recording all night because just before that, I finished doing a reaction. Um, I have no idea what, it was an Eminem reaction, I think. I finished doing a reaction and I realized that I kept my OBS on all night recording my screen. So there was no video, but there was audio. And I mean, I had like a 12 hour footage of audio, okay? So I listened to it, I, I listened to it all the way through. I put it into Audacity so I could see the sound waves and when it was quiet and when it was loud. So I looked at all of this guys and there was no dogs barking at all. None at all, okay? Until she knocked the door, until she came to the door and knocked the door, that is when the dog started barking. I really wish I recorded that night, like just to show someone how crazy this this old woman is. I also asked my neighbor next door, I said, you know, did you hear anything last night? And she's like, yeah, I heard Margaret shouting at you, um, you know, what was going on? So I told her and everything. She was like, I honest to God, I heard no dogs barking. She even agreed that she's a light sleeper because she's just had a newborn baby. That's all she heard and that's what she got woken up by was this woman screaming. There was no dogs going. So after that, guys, my mum come home and she said, you know, she knocked the door. She said, what's going on, Margaret? You know, what happened? And she started screaming at my mum. I mean, full on screaming at her, calling everyone in my family, me, my brother, my mum, my dad, everyone in my family. One of my family, like lazy layabouts, we do nothing, uh, we have no nothing in life, guys. Uh, just to let everyone know, my mum runs a full-time business, she's also graduated from university. So like, yeah, like, we're all lazy layabouts, I swear, I'm not in a position to be full-time on YouTube. After 
after that, things calmed down for a little bit. We didn't hear nothing off them at all. Nothing off them at all. Um, it was a couple of weeks later, I think, because we was in lockdown at this point. So yeah, I think it was around April time. We were all out the back, guys, having a fire, um, a, like fire barbecue kind of thing. Just at the household. Obviously, we couldn't mix. We couldn't go to work. We couldn't do nothing. It was a nice summer day. So we was out the back having a barbecue like you can. You're legally allowed to have a barbecue in your own garden. Um, but no, 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 no. Not according to her. No, she phoned the police and asked a According to her, we were lighting fires in our garden that was causing distress to her. So she phoned the police on that. This woman is absolutely crazy. I don't know whether she's losing her mind or not, but I, I don't know. She's she's the way that she has tormented us has made us move out of this house. That that's just one of that was the major issue. And then there were loads of other issues. There was complaints about us. There was more arguments, guys. Like she's come not booting out our door again, um, saying that we're lighting fires again and the, the smell of the fires are causing her distress stress she'd stand in her doorstep and if we if we went out and walked past it guys she would stand there and stare at us like like this like that and watch she wouldn't blink she would just stare at us all the way up the shop and all the way back down and i call her once okay she was outside speaking to another neighbor and she i honest to god i walked through the middle of them in the middle of the conversation, she stopped speaking. She just stared. I turned around and looked a couple of times. She was staring at me. The other neighbor went in by this point. Like, she's crazy, guys. And honest to God, she is one of the, she is the main reason why we ended up moving houses. We didn't want to move house. Li lived in that house for 21 years or 20 years, guys. That was my childhood home. That was my home that I grew up in. I didn't want to move house and like find a new house and having to get new used to a new house and getting used to a new area like I had my life down there but unfortunately she she tormented us that much that we just had to move we had no choice but to move I've, I've had witness support guys witness support of the police actually speak to me to try and figure out like make sure I was okay after all the incidents like she has physically threatened us through messenger she has said you know this is war and we, we're like, what What war? I, I don't know, guys. I don't know. This it, it got out of hand. She took it too far. She got a little bit too crazy. She took it way too far. We were tormented for like a year and a half until we was like, you can't, we can't do this anymore. We got to get out of here. She was causing our mental health so much strain. Honest to God. Like... I, I honestly, I had anxiety about staying in that house on my own because of I was scared that she was going to come and knock the door. There were so many incidents where it was just like, we are not doing nothing wrong and she would find something. Like, it, it's crazy. It, it is really crazy. I wish it didn't happen because before this, they were absolutely amazing people. As I said, guys, I'm not here to slander these people. This is why I'm not pinpointing anyone. This is why I am not saying which house they lived in. This is why I'm not saying, you know, their names or anything. This is why I'm saying it as in a, you know, in a letting you guys know how tormenting a neighbor can be. I don't know, maybe maybe we were doing something wrong and we couldn't see. Maybe she was losing her mind a bit because she's old, you know, these things happen. But geez, we got pinpointed so much. In the end, it was honestly like, you know, we can't we can't do this. We were having mental breakdowns, I swear. It was it was horrible. It was poor hell, guys. So yeah, this is why we moved. Am I happy I moved? Absolutely, I am so happy I moved now. Down the house, I didn't want to move. I had, I, I really, I was really upset that I was moving, but now that I'm up here, now that I'm, I'm, it's much lighter here. Everything's more open here. It's, it's much nicer. Yes, I've downsized. We've downsized the bedroom and everything, but it's, it's worth it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this little story time. If you do want to see more of these videos, let me know and give me some topics down below. I love every single one of you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being amazing. Thank you for being beautiful, guys. Check out all my links in the description, and I'll see you in the next video. It's been your girl. I'm out here. Peace.